Are you tired of playing levels with all the new features and creativity available in Super Mario Maker 2? Does the thought of playing or making these levels hurt your brain just a little too much? Well get ready for the sequel that everyone actually wanted, Super 1-1 Maker 2. It takes all the 1-1 remakes of the first Mario Maker and adds even more ways to remake 1-1. Do you want to create a 1-1 remake but just aren't feeling creative enough? How about just change the background and voila, creativity. Or even better, change the game mode and wabam, creativity. There are literally dozens of combinations. The possibilities are endless with Super 1-1 Maker 2. Literally, we have an endless mode where you can play every possible remake of 1-1 like 1-1 at night, 1-1 in the water, 1-1 one, one without ground, 1-1 one, one tilted 45 degrees, 1-1 one, one tilted 90 degrees, and even 1-1 one, one tilted 360 degrees. Now that is extreme. Of course, you've seen the insane level 1-1 one, one with a twist, but get ready for other insane levels like 1-1 one, one with a twister. Look at the madness. But the options don't end there because with your Switch, you can play on the go. Just imagine. 1-1 one, one while you're at the beach, 1-1 one, one at a wedding, 1-1 one, one at your son's baseball game, 1-1 one, one at your daughter's recital. You can even play 1-1 one, one in a car while driving your own car. And with this improved sequel, there are so many new ways to remake 1-1. One, one. There's 1-1 one, one where every enemy is Bowser, 1-1 one, one while tripping, 1-1 one, one with lots of sound effects, 1-1 one, one backwards, 1-1 one, one with a dev exit. And then for those too exhausted to play a remake, there's an automatic 1-1 one, one which does all the work for you. Our developers are working hard on tons of new features so that you can best use them to create super original 1-1 one, one remakes. Like 1-1 one, one with Link and 1-1 one, one really fast. This revolutionary game comes up April 20th, 2069, so reserve your copy today. Do you love Mario Maker 2 but hate all the well-designed levels? If so, you're in luck because coming this Nevertober 32nd, we are releasing Super Little Timmy Maker 2. First of the new game features is that there's no limit to anything. Now you can put literally as many of all the enemies that you want, even if it causes your Switch to overheat. Tired of the three Bowser limit? Not anymore. Only five Boom Booms per subworld. Now you can add as many as your little Timmy heart desires. Other great changes include the ability to scale how intense you want something to be. If you're tired of Hammer Bros only throwing one hammer at a time, just slide the scale up. Feel like the twister isn't strong enough? Just crank it up. Wind can now be Category 5 hurricane speeds. Adjust the circle of vision in dark levels. The speed of lava rising. You can even adjust spike hitboxes. One of the best new features is the ability to make anything invisible. Not just hidden blocks anymore, hidden note blocks, hidden spikes, hidden pipes, and enemies. You will have so much fun in a seemingly empty level trying to figure out what keeps killing you. The like and boo buttons have been melded into a Timmy approved button. Does that mean it's good or bad? I think you know the answer to that. Other improvements to the game are that we've removed all semi-solids and other forms of decoration because in a true Little Timmy level, the enemies are the decoration. We also prevent placing pipes directly into the ground, so now all pipes are naked pipes. There's also an auto hidden block adder, which automatically places hidden blocks over any gap. And the last great new addition to the game is that now you can upload absolutely anything without needing to beat it. Because we all know that a Little Timmy level isn't as good as it can be if it's not literally impossible to beat. So find your parent's wallet or purse and get their credit card without asking so you can reserve Super Little Timmy Maker 2. Rated T for Timmy! 
Do you love the Mario franchise, but always wished it was a bit more realistic? Well, your strange dream will come true this January 0, 200 BC, when we release Super Realistic Mario Maker 2. To start off, gravity is enforced on everything. No more floating objects or blocks in the air. If Mario eats a mushroom that he finds randomly on the ground, he's gonna hallucinate. Eating a flower won't make you throw fireballs, but it will make you throw up. Touching the Link Sword will just knock it over. The pea balloon usually fills Mario with helium, but now it's much more like if you actually inhaled helium. Mario number one! Also, a feather just gets tied to your back, which does not help you fly. In real life, claws are sharp blades that will cut Mario directly in half when they clamp onto him. And if you die, there's no more silly death animation. Oh no, Mario's death will be much more in line with exactly what killed him. Like when he gets crushed, getting blown to pieces by a bomb. And if you fall into a pit, you don't just hear the music and fade to black. Oh no, the camera will scroll all the way down. We made Mario's jumping more realistic, so it's not nearly as high. And we've upgraded his voice to sound much more realistic. <clears throat> When you finish a level, you get taxed on your coin earnings by the government, just like real life. Oh, and also, you only get one life. Once you die the first time, you can play with the three other characters, but once they've all died, there's no character when you start a level or go into editor. The entire game gets locked and you'll have no way of playing. Now it's your turn. Comment below what other features you think there should be in. Thanks for playing the super realistic Mario Maker 2 game! Last time we showed you some features and asked you to contribute your own ideas to make it even more realistic, so let's a go! In the night snow theme, you have to keep moving to keep your body warm, and if you stop for any reason, you'll freeze and die of hypothermia. In the desert, it's the opposite. The more you move, the higher your body temperature rises and then, uh-oh, you've died of heat stroke. Underwater levels will have a strict 60 second timer, but the more you swim, the faster that time goes down, and at the end, you've drowned. The low gravity mode is like you're on the moon, so since there's no oxygen to breathe and the temperature is freezing at night, you get 10 seconds in the level, and then you get to choose the cause of death. In real life, a human body isn't a light source, so the dark night mansion themes are completely dark. Now, if you jump on a turtle or kick it, you'll go to jail for animal cruelty. We also know that turtles can't drive a car in real life, so all cars in 3D World are empty now. Bob-ombs can now destroy so much more when they explode. The sun is 93 million miles away when it's this size, but when it comes toward Mario, it gets much bigger and vaporizes the entire level. Now Mario will run out of breath if he runs for too long. If he falls too far, he'll break his legs. Hitting a block with his head will give him a concussion, and for his own safety, you'll be locked out of playing the game for three days while he recovers. You're also not able to grab coins because, well, look at them. They're huge pieces of gold. And spending too much will make Mario sick and puke. Now it's your turn again. Thanks for playing the super realistic Mario Maker 2 game! Last time we showed you some features and asked you to contribute your own ideas to make it even more realistic, so let's a go! Now when a thwomp hits the ground, it doesn't just shake the screen, it causes an actual earthquake to happen, which topples over everything on screen. In real life, if you jumped on top of a huge pipe like this, you'd fall right in, and the bottom of that pipe would lead you into sewage. Ew. Whoever decided that Mario could spin on top of spiky things was crazy. Now a more realistic thing happens. Bowser's fire usually goes through everything, but that's not how it is in real life. We all know that if a dragon shoots fire at you, everything it touches would also catch on fire. Usually when Mario dies, we see a bunch of red X's where past Mario's have died. But instead, it's more realistic to have gravestones in each spot while you play the level. Mario has always died when enemies touch him, but that's not realistic. 
Everyone knows that in real life, you won't die if a walking blob or a skeleton turtle touch you. Yoshi is a cute, helpful dinosaur, but hey, dinosaurs are extinct. So now, all Yoshi eggs are just egg yolk inside. Real stars are humongous balls of burning gas, so now when Mario touches a star, he gets completely vaporized. These bullet bill launchers shoot bullets way too slow, not realistic at all. So now the bullets shoot so fast that you can't jump over them. Now Mario's body will react in the same way yours does when he bends over. And then he looks around as if he wasn't the one who did it. Now it's your turn again. Thanks for playing the Super Mario Maker 2 game! We at Nintendo are broke, so instead of making Mario Maker 3, we are releasing Super Product Placement Maker 2. But not starring Mario and Luigi. Nope, they'll be replaced with the Burger King and the Pringles guy. And now the bricks they hold will be Legos, also featuring the new Mercedes-Benz convertible. So you might be wondering, what other products will be seamlessly placed throughout the game? We start with the basics of Mario, collecting coins! There are no ordinary coins now, they're crypto coins, sponsored by Crypto.com. They recently paid to have naming rights to an NBA arena, and they partnered with the UFC, so Nintendo is cashing in also. The air theme's square blocks have been replaced by Cheez-Its. Yum. Now instead of a bouncing star, it's a juicy bouncing starburst. It'll turn you different colors of a starburst, and it'll be like eating a bunch of them because you'll be more hyper and feel invincible. Now the power up to get the cat suit is a delicious bag of Whiskas cat food. When you're in a super world, the Mushroom House minigames are all mobile games, starting with Super Mario Run. This game had such poor sales, we're dying to make some kind of profit off it. Another Mushroom House will force you to play an hour of Raid Shadow Legends. And if you survive the hour, you're rewarded with an entire one-up. Some of the Koopalings have cashed in on their celebrity as well. Wendy is sponsored by Wendy's, and now their famous square hamburgers bounce around the room. Ludwig is now sponsored by Head & Shoulders because his hair has such great shine and bounce. And his wand is replaced with a bottle of conditioner. And Morton teamed up with Maybelline Beauty Products and finally got his eyebrows waxed. For the car, anytime you kill the Koopa to get it, an ad plays for Grand Theft Auto. And anytime you crash the car, a Geico ad will play. Now it's your turn! Thanks for playing the Super Mario Maker 2 game! We're going to be porting Mario Maker 2 to the Xbox! But since all of the unique characters in the Mario world are exclusive to Nintendo consoles, we asked you last time to post ideas on how we can avoid copyright issues, so we're unveiling... Super Murray Maker 2. It stars Murray, the hipster with a soul patch, and his pal Lewis. And they're two strange-looking sidekicks, Todd and Toddette. To start with, our hero Murray isn't a stereotypical Italian anymore. Oh no, he's a stereotypical guy from Brooklyn. And when he finishes a level, he just holds up one finger. Over in the editor, since Xbox is owned by Microsoft, you'll now be greeted by Clippy. He'll guide you and help determine if you've made a garbage level. And if the level is too awful, the game will freeze with the classic Microsoft blue screen of death and it'll brick your Xbox. The Link Suit is now the Master Chief suit. And he can stab, shoot his gun, and ground pound like Link. And Bowser has been replaced with a Halo tank. The Angry Sun is now the Happy Star. It'll still chase and kill you, but this time it's with a smile. The Magikoopa's magic used to look like PlayStation buttons, but now it looks like the Xbox buttons. Now the classic Mario Mushroom is Broccoli which makes you big and strong just like your parents want you to believe. The cat power-up doesn't give you any special abilities because now it's just a furry costume. But we don't judge Murray for what he does in his private life. The fire flower is now a chili pepper, so it only turns Murray's face red. Murray is literally puking fire from how hot the pepper is. Now it's your turn! 